What's up everybody, this is Spectacular Smith and welcome to the Spectacular Experience. So today I want to get into how to get more customers for your business with referrals. I know a lot of guys who and girls who are starting their business and they want to know how the hell do I get my first client? I have a great secret for you guys to really take advantage of. One of the secrets is telling them that I would do the work for free. So if you approach somebody and say, hey, John Doe, I see your social media channel and I think I could really help you with what you have going on. You know, all I'm looking for return is three referrals and one testimonial video. If we can agree to that, then I can actually blow your social media up. And of course, this is if you have a social media agency. This goes for any type of agency or any type of business model. If you go to them and they say, hey, you know, I, I really like your offer, but show me some of your work or your case study or whatever. And you're like, well, this is why I'm doing it, because I built this skill set on how to actually do this for myself. I believe in myself and I know I can really blow your social media up. If you give me the chance, I will really come in and give it my 100 percent and really show you the impact of what I can do for you and your business. I don't have any current previous customers that's why i'm actually working this deal out with you and if you agree to it then i can actually show you my worth and of course he's going to say yes get this thing going if not if you ask 10 people of course one person out of those 10 is going to say yes right the more people you ask the more chances it is for you to actually get a yes so once you actually sign this person up you give them an agreement that was one of the biggest mistakes i made in business doing things for free for people to try to give them value you know, I got screwed in the past. So I know from this point forward in my life as a businessman to put a contract in place, even if it's for free. All right. The reason behind that is, say, for instance, if you'd say, hey, you handshake on the deal and you say, OK, cool, I'm going to do this free for you. You done paid for all this stuff and you done did everything to do the service. And all of a sudden, the person decides the next day or the next week that they no longer want to do business with you because they just hired this other guy that they want to pay and their partner want to pay him and hire them. And now you done did all this lead work preparing to launch this product or or this service for this company. And they just cut your legs from under you. So I'll get into some of my personal stories a little bit later. But just make sure you have an agreement in place so you can go online and search for templates on social media agreements or whatever your actual company is. You can search for contracts for your niche and get a template online for absolutely free and copy that and edit it. So you just put everything that you're going to be doing, all the metrics. And then at the bottom, you know, you can put way fee and you can also tell them like, hey, this is going to be free for you. But at the end of the month, if you do feel like this was valuable to you and your business and the customers that I delivered for you or the service I delivered for you, you feel like is worthy of my fee, you can pay me. But if not, then if you decide that after the first month and you give me my three referrals and my testimony, if you decide that you want to continue to do business, then that's when you can go from that wave fee to now you're having that residual that's coming in from the actual client. Another trick is you can put in the actual agreement that if you decide that you want to continue this agreement, this agreement extends to a three month contract or a month to month contract or a year contract, whatever you decide that you want the terms to be, which I think is super powerful because now you don't have to chase them down for another signature and the contract is already signed and delivered. So after the 30 days, if they decide to terminate the contract because they didn't like your work, then you go to the next person, you learn from that situation and now you know how to become stronger and how to present yourself going forward or how to do the service even better going forward because now you have some more experience under your belt and also now trick is that person actually became your first client so even though you did it for free for them nobody knows you did it for free all right. And if they ask, you could tell them it was free. But nine out of 10, if somebody's hiring you, they're not going to say, hey, was that free for that person? No, you take the results that you did for that person and you use that. You create a deck. You can create decks on Canva.com It's absolutely free. It's going to look like a graphic designer did your actual design work. They already have templates already and uh, go find another a competitor or something. 
and figure out what their templates look like for their proposals. You can take some of their actual language from their their proposals and put a spin on it for you and what you specialize in. And now you can put some of your testimonials or case studies or the guy who you previously just worked with and put some of the metrics and things that you did for him. Now you have a full fledged proposal with a previous client and a case study. Another trick I want to tell you is how to actually figure out how to price your products or how to build sales scripts or how to build a great proposal. The trick is, is to actually call some of your competitors. So you actually want to record the call for your team to listen to it. Okay, so you give them a call. You let them know the call is recorded. So you can take the info back to their team because, you know, your team is super busy. And once you get them on a the call, you record it. And now you can see the way he's pitching you or you can actually transcribe the things that the questions he's asking you while you're on the phone. And then you ask him to send you a case study and proposal. So now once you do that, now you can see the way they're positioning themselves in the market. And of course, you want to go to your top five competitors and go see the guys who's actually killing it. And now you're in the same ball game with them now, because now you know what they're saying to their customers. Now, you know, their price points. Now, you know what their presentation look like. You know, everything from top to bottom. OK, now, if you want to take it a step further, you can actually hire them for a first month service just to get all the tricks and trades and see what type of emails, templates they send, you know, what type of welcome emails they send, what's their actual onboarding process. You know, you can record your intro calls. You can do all this stuff if you want to reverse engineer your top competitors, if you're an aspiring entrepreneur just starting your business. So this is some things that really helped me just starting off because I didn't have no mentors at the beginning. I didn't really know anything about business. So those are some of the tricks that I use to actually get clients, which was super, super duper beneficial. I know if you guys go out and you try those same tricks that I just gave you, those same secrets that I just gave you on how to get referrals, how to price your product, how to get proven templates and contracts all from your competitors. And this thing works like a charm because what happens is once you get that referral from somebody who they trust, right? And you get on a call and then you close them with the same script that you just got from your competitor and ask the same type of questions. And they already are saying that you're the, you're the shit already. Then they're more likely to do business with you because John, who they went to football games with and that their best friends with referred you as the expert for a problem that they need to solve in their business. So it makes it super easy for them. And you can do the same thing with him now. Now, once you get on an actual call with him, you say, hey, you know, I can give you a 50 percent discount. The only thing I'm going to need from you is three referrals and one testimonial video. So now what you just did is you actually got two testimonials and six referrals right now whole six referrals. So now you play those two testimonials to the new referrals that you just got. And now they're going to be like, wow, you know, John loves him. Peter loves him. And then you transcribe those uh, video testimonials into not, now you have copy. Now you write out, you put his little picture on your website, you put his name, and then you can put what he said, like the key points that he said, like, oh my God, spectacular business is the best. He grew my followers from zero to 100K followers in two months. And then you take that, even though he said in video, you transcribe it into words, put it, slap it on your website, put it in your deck, put it in your proposal. It's all great stuff. All right. So, there you go for all the aspiring entrepreneurs out there looking for more customers. This actually works for any type of business, no matter what level you at in business. Take those tricks. Hopefully you guys go and execute on that. It really works. So I love you guys. Welcome to anybody who's new to the podcast. Thank you guys for actually listening to the podcast. I really love this stuff, man. If you feel like anybody need to hear this message that you feel like will help, please share this link to the podcast with them. Make sure you leave me a review. And uh, yeah, man, I see you on the next podcast. I love you guys. Peace. Oh, and make sure you subscribe. I'm out.